You'll know from some of my earlier webinars that I have got great reservations about the ubiquitous use of PowerPoint. Yes, it can be used well to support presentations. Occasionally, I've seen it used brilliantly. But in the vast majority of the time, it's a lazy substitute for thinking about how to really connect with an audience, how to hook them into the story you're trying to tell, and how to appeal to both their intellect and their senses. So I spend a lot of my time trying to convince people to think about different kinds of support material. Inevitably, they look at me blankly and they ask me what on earth they can use instead of slides. And it's then that I tell the story of the invoicing. I'd been hired by a company as part of a team to work with their six internal keynote speakers for their annual conference to try and make the whole day more engaging and more entertaining. None of them were willing to completely give up their beloved PowerPoint crutch, but I challenged each of them to get away with as few slides as they possibly could. The results were very promising. The speakers were starting to sparkle, the day was taking good shape, at which point I had an urgent request from the finance department. Could they steal a 15 minute slot after lunch and take the opportunity to explain the new company-wide invoicing process which had been going awry? Well, I agreed, but I issued them the same challenge. Can you get away without PowerPoint? To my delight and my admiration, they grabbed this as an opportunity to try something very different indeed. And on the day, they demonstrated the entire invoicing process using bread, slices of ham, and plastic buckets. Now, I can't pretend to still remember all the details. It was something like the bread was the invoices, the ham were cost centers, the buckets were departments. What I do know is it was a huge success. It got loads of laughs. It woke everyone up after lunch. And most of all, it was completely memorable to its audience. Nobody in that company ever got the invoicing wrong again after that demo. So my call to action is this. If you're giving presentations, be imaginative in how you appeal to your audience's senses. Be creative in how you appeal to their emotions. And be brave in looking for ways to stimulate their minds.